Mimo from Mimotronics Effects here. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to build your own templates for your guitar effects pedals. We're going to be doing so using a software tool called GIMP. This right here is a 1590BB Hammond enclosure, but this process can be generalized to any sort of enclosure that you might use. Um, okay, let's get started. First things first, we need to open up GIMP. So GIMP on my machine is 2.10.6. There's definitely a newer version out there, but we're going to be using 2.10.6. Um, it's just going to start up real quick. Okay, so this might be a weird um, like skin that you might see here. Um, it's I don't think it's the default GIMP, but way a long time ago I changed it to this, but it shouldn't affect our uh, mode of operation here. So everything should be familiar to you uh, as long as you follow along um, vocally. Okay, so we know that the 1590BB enclosure is 4.61 inches by 3.58 inches. That is, that is the dimension of the top of the enclosure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to New. And up here you'll see a template here, but we don't have anything that has 1590BB. So once we make it, it's going to go in this list. Okay? Um, I get I suppose the first thing we should do is actually create a new image So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sw switch pixels to inches here We're gonna change this to 4.61 And we're gonna change this one to 3.58 again. These are the dimensions of the 5090 BB You would be putting the dimensions of your pedal in this image size area here um, And then we're just gonna say okay after that Okay, and then this is our image. Oh, uh, so one thing that we need to do actually, um, because we might you might be using a water slide decal. So instead of doing that, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna go to width, four dot six one, and then the height over here is oh that was already three point five eight. Okay, and in under advanced options, what we're going to do is we're going to say the fill width is going to be transparent. And we can also write a comment here, 1590BB um, decal template. Press OK. OK, so now we have uh, our template here. We're going to zoom out using this. We're going to go to 50%. And here you could see that it's from 0 to 4.61 is the dimension there. And from 0 to 3.58 is the dimension here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Create Template, and over here we're going to enter the template name. So what we're going to do is name it 1590BB, at least that's for mine, and I'm going to name it 1590BB uh, underscore top, indicating that it's the top of the pedal, and we're going to press OK. And it seems like nothing happened, but if we go to our Windows option here so if you go to windows and then dockable dialogues all the way down to templates you can see it at the bottom here and this area changed here so we're gonna expand that area a little bit more and all the way at the top boop, is 1590 BB top that's our template so now if we exit out of here and if we go file new create a new image, but under this templates here, we can see that we now have 1590BB underscore top. Boop. And it's got our pixels over here, but we can change it to inches, and these are our dimensions that we put in before. And it says that it's going to be, well, we're just going to, see here it says background color, but I think it's going to stay as the transparent background. So we're going to press OK. And it's not so okay so you do have to do it as a transparent background when you do a new so that doesn't change so if we go to new template 1590 BB underscore top advanced options and under fill with we're gonna go to transparency and press OK and now we have a transparent 1590 BB template thanks for watching